Can we give Rayba a round of applause? U.S. Bank? Absolutely. Well, it's my uh, pleasure uh, in a couple of seconds to recognize another one of our partners and next uh, uh, speaker uh, who represents uh, another one of our partners, Fulton Bank. At Fulton Bank in the house, Smokey, Dion, and team want to acknowledge them. Uh, currently, we're in a number of locations with Fulton Bank, I believe 10, serving 10 cities around the United States. But in addition to that, uh, we have a home ownership program that's designed to create or make the American dream of home ownership uh, possible for so many people. And so since the launch of that initiative, uh, thanks to Fulton Bank, uh, in a regional capacity, we've been able to provide over 6,000 mortgage loans, totaling $1 billion in home ownership. Thanks to Fulton Bank. I think that deserves a round of applause, don't you? And it was possible thanks to uh, the next gentleman I'm going to introduce, uh, who's instrumental as a great leader at Fulton Bank. And so we're just very uh, excited to honor him uh, because at the end of this year, he'll be retiring, uh, but still having an impact in the communities uh, we serve. So it's our honor to award or give this very special award tied to our 30th anniversary uh, to the CEO of Fulton Bank. Let's give him a round of applause. Phil Wagner from Fulton Bank, CEO, and John O'Brien. Go ahead, John. So, don't go anywhere, Lance. So for anybody who thinks that this is just about big banks and big corporations and all of that stuff. Most of you, I say this very respectfully, most of you have probably never heard of Fulton Bank. They are in, located mostly in Pennsylvania, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a big, a, a small bank with a big heart and a big vision. And literally they created, is it lands hundreds of millions of dollars? Yes. In mortgages for new home ownership of people who look like us. And they're a model for the country. They're one of our best performing partners in the country, give some love to Phil Winger. You want me to say it? <laughs> well, thanks, uh, John, and thanks, Lance. Uh, we have an absolutely great partnership with Operation Hope. We believe in financial literacy is a way to help folks uh, own a home. And uh, owning a home is the first step to creating wealth. We think it's incredibly important. We're proud to uh, partner with Operation Hope. And um, I'm retri uh, retiring in a couple of weeks, uh, but we have some people sitting out here who do an incredible job, and they know that they got to keep the vision we have moving forward to create home ownerships for everyone. So thank you very much. So, again, I think these personal stories are just really important. And all the time I've known Phil, he never called me for anything for himself. Ever. He called me recently, he said, by the way, I'm retiring. But there's a guy in the, in the audience, by, he goes by the nickname of Smokey. It's a brother, black man. Um, <laughs> for those of you who need me to translate. <laughs> And he said, I want you to do me a favor. I'd like you to make sure that Smokey's put on one of your boards of directors. And, and he's done that quietly time and time again. He asked me to come in to Pennsylvania to speak at a nonprofit. Then asked me another time to come and speak at a commencement of a university. And asked me to come in and meet with some business leaders. It's never about him. It's what Andrew Young said earlier today. Talk to people and meet people that you would not normally get along with or have a relationship with. Find some common ground and figure out what you have to give, not what you have to get. And the world will treat you well. I want to thank you, Phil, for just being a good human being. We love you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks.